What is up guys, CSGN here, back again with some more Madden 22 news today. Hopefully this video doesn't get copyright striked, uh, like my last video did, that I had to free take down with no footage from the trailer. Not sure why they're being so uh, aggressive with that this year, but we'll see if they do it again. Um, so this new trailer came out today, uh, announcing, I think formally announcing some of the franchise features that they have added. Um... I did get into the beta last week, uh, so I've been playing around with some of these features, actually. And first one here is the franchise staff, so actually we are going to pause it here and take a look here at some of the new stuff here. You see that? The staff positions. And this is pretty cool stuff here, actually. You earn points throughout your games, and uh, I, I believe I tried getting a decent look at this um, when... The first trailer came up, but that was kind of hard to do, actually. But uh, this time, able to actually get a look at it here. You see each uh, position group, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, head coach, all have sort of different game day goals that uh, you try to meet throughout the game. And I think this is pretty cool because you already had those sorts of game day goals. And a lot of those were just sort of inc to increase, you know... Uh, Stuff that really didn't matter at the end of the day, I think, like, sort of your free agency stuff, things like that. That's still in the game, but now you get to do it for your uh, position, uh, uh, your offensive and defensive coordinator. So let's get this trailer back rolling again. And, uh, yeah, pretty nice stuff here. You take a look around at all the staff moves, um, all the uh, talent trees. Uh, they're, they said in the trailer that they're going to add more throughout the year, so I am pretty excited for that actually and i cannot wait to see that see sort of what they add and one of the more requested things that we've been asking for is improved scouting and it looks like we're actually going to get that you can hire and fire scouts these are you know their expertise their second position expertise let's take a look at this real quick and you see right here you have a situation where um they have added regional scouting something that you have a you know a midwest west coast um east coast and uh south sort of southeast sort of position scout southeast northeast west coast midwest and then you have a national scout and it looks like each of those scouts um sort of give you boosts um based on what their expertise is when scouting a certain position things like that so i think some pretty cool stuff here actually you have tier one i believe tier three is probably gonna be the best you can get so this is pretty cool, actually, and uh, I'm not sure you see right there the Midwest Scout. I don't, I don't know if you can hire more than three or four scouts. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see when we when this actually does come to the game. I believe they said they're aiming to have this out in September. So you see here their prospects. Sort of looks the same. You get to confirm your player uh, selection. Looks like your scouts can recommend who you should pick. So I think that'll help people who. Maybe you aren't good at drafting, possibly. You see guys move up and down the board in an actual mock draft. Um, something that I've been asking for for a long time, sort of get, just to get a good idea of what teams are doing, actually. And uh, I'm glad to see that actually uh, come to the game. So you have the weekly team goal selection here. And this looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty similar to what we've already had before. But now there's, I think, an actual reason for that um, to be in the game. Uh, that I think is a little more targeted for your coach. I think that's pretty cool. Your game day strategies. Uh, this is... I've been messing around with a little bit of this. And uh, it's kind of cool, I think. I think it's, you know, I think it's the game planning stuff that they had before. But I think a little more expanded. Um, you know, the fatigue thing, I believe right now in the beta that the fatigue is broken, actually. Because it seems like after a game... Your entire position groups are just, like, beat. Like, they just can't go anymore. So, uh, we're going to have to see how they tune that in the actual game, I think. So, that's something we have to pay attention to. I believe guys can actually get injured in practice in this game. So, I think that's another thing that is pretty cool, I think. Um, you know, unless it happens just far too often. You know, unless, like, you're, like, the Packers and you have David Bakhtiari... Tearing his ACL, you have like your entire offensive line tear their ACLs in practice. That wouldn't be very cool. So I think this is pretty cool as well. 
Uh, this is also something that is, I think, is pretty awesome, and I'm glad to see them have add have added to the game. But those cutscenes I talked about, I believe, in one of my videos where I said, you know, why don't we have the reporters asking our coaches questions and things like that? Well, they added that to the game this year, and I think that's pretty cool, and I'm pretty excited for that. And you see here, uh, this is sort of similar to what we already had in the game, but now there's actual a visual visualization of it, of a coach talking to his player, who's always going to be in his pads, I wouldn't mind seeing them in their street clothes or something like that. I know, just small thing like that, but just a little attention to detail would be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool stuff here, actually, and looks like they have some more stuff planned on the way to get that new scouting into the game. And honestly... I'm blown away by some of the work that, that they've put into franchise mode this year, especially, in, you know, with the pandemic situation, uh, probably working majority of this stuff remotely. New franchise hub as well, so you're going to have to get used to that. Um, I kind of wish the activity stuff on the left side, I believe, I wish the text for that was a little bit bigger. That's probably my only complaint, but all in all, pretty cool i like i like that they redid this no more watch, watching your coach just look at his microsoft tablet um those are still there the uh twitter things uh, you have to a new thing here to get to your team and stuff you have the weekly schedule stats are right there so it's real easy to sort of see who's the league leaders and stats and things like that um so all in all like i said before some really cool stuff that they added to the game this year really big additions to franchise mode and i think if you're a franchise player you shouldn't be complaining at all this year really i really think they added some really good stuff and uh, i'm really excited to see it you know i'm really excited to get my hands on or i already have my hands on it but i'm excited to just sort of get the full game because you know the beta it's a beta you know there's lots of glitches and things like that in it still but like i said that's you know early stuff so stuff that they're probably gonna work out and you know early in the game so take a look here at these screenshots again. Once again, your position coaches, your staff. No talk of coaching carousel, but it really does feel like the groundwork has been laid for coaching carousel to make its return into games. And I, I honestly do think we're probably going to see that in Madden 23. Um, if I had to guess, next year's probably when we're going to see NCAA return. So I think that's probably another thing that's really going to help this moving forward. I th and... Another thing I want to say, I've seen a lot of people still slagging them. I'm not gonna say any names because I don't, I, I don't want to start beef with anyone. But still, sort of slagging them off here, and I just sort of don't get it. They they made a commitment to franchise mode. That's the only thing that we have really asked for them to do, not make their entire focus franchise mode, just a commitment. And I think we, I think we're seeing that. I think we're seeing, at the very least, a commitment to the mode again. So, I don't really get the people sort of still, you know, bashing them or anything like that, but I suppose when your channel's based on that sort of stuff, you have to bash constantly. You can't really give up any ground. You can't say, hey guys, they're actually doing a good job this year, because you sort of cultivated an audience where all they want to hear is bad and bad. 2K football, good. Not saying it's not good, but this is what we have to work with, and... I think I like that they, I think, heard our complaints and added some stuff that we really wanted to see here. Really, really, we really want, we've been asking for staff. We've been asking for improved scouting. We've been asking for a lot of this stuff. More game day planning, you know, more, you know, management of player health, things like that, that we've wanted to see for a really long time. And they've added it into the game in the middle of a pandemic. I think that's admirable. I think that's something that should be applauded. And I am really looking forward to getting onto Madden 22. Um, getting into Madden 22 franchise, things like that. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, hit subscribe. And what did you see in this trailer that you're excited for? Leave a comment down below. Please comment, please like, please subscribe. And I must bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night. Well, not night. Just, just have a good day. How about that?